In this video, we're gonna go over product pricing, print pricing, how to apply your markups using our pricing rules, as well as coupons, quantity discounts, and gift certificates. So we'll start with the product pricing, uh, products, manage products. We open up the 5,000 here, we'll just search that. We go, click the SKU. And then on the pricing tab here, you can enter a fixed price if you want to, but just keep in mind it's going to apply that fixed price to every size. So here's the cost of the blank before print price has been added. So if you do a fixed price here, chances are you're going to get, kind of get burned on your larger sizes. So the supplier cost here, you can see what you're paying for each size of the SKU. So instead, I'd actually recommend you use a pricing rule to apply a markup per percentage based on the cost. So you can see here, your pricing will markup is shown here hundred percent and then it shrinks down to 85% here. And that's because we went above $5. Um, at least this way you can ensure you're applying the correct percentage markup based on, based on your costs. And you can see once you go above $5, it's now 85%. Uh, you can configure your pricing rules up at the top here, pricing, product pricing, pricing rules. Here's my little pricing rule. So. Uh, you've got different options here. The most common and one I'd recommend is percentage markup based on your cost. Um, so you just enter a range of cost here, min and max. So if it costs between $0 and $2.50, here's the market percentage I want to apply, 125%. You can scale up or scale down the markup percentage as your cost increases. So you're not just, you know, blanketing this cost or this markup across all of your, your, uh, your products. So you can add as many of these lines as you need to and customize this, and you can add as many pricing rules as you need to up here. So for print pricing, back on the general tab here down at the bottom, we've got printing capabilities, we've got digital print as well as screen print, and then the pricing grids that you're gonna assign here, as well as your screen print pricing grids. So you can configure those pricing grids at the top here. Pricing, print pricing, we've got digital, and then screen print pricing. So digital print price grids are pretty simple. You have your quantity here, so set a range, min and max, and then a print charge to be applied per side and set a fee if you need to. So in this case, min and max, if I buy one shirt, we're looking at $20 additional print charge per side. So if I just wanted something done on the front and I just wanted one of this Gildan 5000, let's say I got a large, we're looking at 554 just for the blank. And then, oops, $20 additional per side. So it'd be $20 print charge, no setup fee. So we're looking at $25.54 here. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind with the digital print pricing grid is on the very last line of the max column here. You just want to enter a huge number just to cover all your bases. Make sure your pricing is always applied. Uh, by default, it's set to 23, which if the customer tried to order 24, the pricing wouldn't kick in. So it's best to just cover all your bases here, enter a huge number, and then, you know, make sure that no matter how many they're getting, they're going to get the correct print charge. For screen print pricing, um, you can shorten the amount of breaks here to make it a little bit easier to read. Go. So each break here is a break of quantity. So if I ordered 50 shirts, we'd be in break four, and then you just follow it down this column vertically from here. So this first section is for the setup fee. Uh, it knows what to do. So if I did a two color front and a four color back, we're looking at $30 setup for the front just one time, four color back, $60 for the back just one time. Your customers will never see a setup fee or a print price. All they're gonna see is average cost per garment. So it's gonna divide up the setup fee into that average cost per garment, as well as include the print price per item per side into that cost per garment as well. So two color front, we're looking at 169 additional for the front print for each shirt. Four color back, $2.50 for the back print charge for each shirt on the back. So on the general tab here, you want to make sure that this option is checked. It comes checked by default for all products you add from the supplier catalog. So, you know, you generally don't have to worry about this, but it's always nice to double check, make sure your product is available for quantity discounts. So to set up a quantity discount pricing, product pricing, quantity discounts. We'll add a new discount here. 
So you start with the minimum quantity you want to start the discount at. So say if you buy 12 or more, say 12 to 24, you'll save 5%. Here's a percentage you can discount by or a fixed dollar amount per unit. So if I did this one, I'd say once you get between, between 12 and 24, you'll save $1 per shirt. Hit the plus sign, 25 to 48, you save $2 per shirt, et cetera. And you can scale with a percentage or a fixed dollar amount. Um, you can do, you can apply the discount based on each item and its own quantity. Meaning, you know, if I had to, I'd have to buy at least 12 Gildan 5,000s, for example, in order to qualify for this discount. But if you use total quantity of all items selected, you can have six Gildan 5,000s, six Gildan 2,000s in the cart. And then the, uh, those products combined would be 12. And then you would qualify for the discount that way. Let's see. Gift certificates. If you just want to issue a single gift certificate, you'll hover over orders, go to gift certificates, issue new gift certificate, apply, just choose the store it's going to be applicable in. Um, you can give yourself, you know, from, you know, your business name issued to the customer, type their email in, in here, type in their gift certificate amount and a gift certificate message if you want to, and just hit save and it'll email that gift certificate code to the customer and they'll enter that code at checkout in order to, you know, use the funds on their gift certificate. Let's see, uh, um, coupons and discounts. Okay. Here we go. Pricing coupons and discounts. So you can create a new one right here. Just hit create new. Give it a name, a description. This is not visible by the customer. And you can require a coupon code or not. So if you just hit no, then the coupon will kick in automatically uh, based on which products you assign the coupon to. Or yes, you can then require a coupon code. Save 10, for example. You can do a fixed discount, just enter a dollar amount to be discounted off the cart total or a percentage discount to discount the car total. Uh, and that, that only applies to the items that you uh, qualify for this discount. Uh, you can apply it to only products if you want to, or you can include shipping in that discount, or you can just do 100% shipping discount if you want to, whatever you want. Uh, set up a date range here for the coupon to be active. So just say to today's date till the end of the month. Minimum and maximum. You can set a minimum item count in order to qualify for the discount. So say you have to have at least 24 items in your cart in order to get the discount, or you can set a minimum uh, dollar amount here for in order to qualify for the discount. So say you can't get the discount until there's $50 or more in your cart. Maximum usage here. Uh, you have to keep in mind if you specify a maximum usage count, either one here, um, it will require that the customer have a user account set up in order to track the maximum usage. So keep that in mind, uh, unless if you, if you don't have a user account, you won't be able to access the discount if you do this. So you can set up a, ma a maximum amount. The, the coupon can be used overall, say a hundred uses and then maximum usage per customer. Let's set that to one. So nobody can use the discount twice. Apply to, you'll choose the stores you want the discount to be available in, and then you'll choose the products here. So my 18 wheeler store, Let's just search 5,000. Okay. And you can also select specific designs you want to offer a discount for, or, you know, a category and then choose the specific designs and then which shipping methods would qualify for the discount or, or not. You can just not select shipping. If you don't want to uh, discount shipping, you'll save this. Oops. I should have put it an amount. Uh, once you save a discount, it'll appear here and you can also automatically apply a discount. So if your discount doesn't require a coupon code, you're going to want to click automatically apply discount here. And then for the store that the discount is in, you would then choose the discount that's automatically going to be applied in the, uh, in the cart. Okay. And then to assign gift certificates in bulk, Here's how you do it just one person at a time, but to do it in bulk, you'd go to marketing, user accounts,
Let's see, select action, upload gift certificates, apply. You'll download this CSV template. It's pretty simple to fill out. You just need the store directory, which is you're just going to type in the way the store appears on the dashboard. So in this case, if I want my 18 wheeler store to get a discount or a, you know, assign gift certificates to users in that store, just type in 18 wheeler here, the same as it appears right here. Type in their email and then the gift certificate amount and the gift certificate message. So just fill all this out here. Once you have it filled out, save this CSV and then you will upload it here. So just select the file, choose file, upload your CSV and then save and give it a couple minutes. It'll send out emails to all the customers in your CSV and assign that gift certificate amount to those user accounts.